Hey you guys, today we're showing you how to flash Hentai OS Android 14 on your Google Pixel 3 or 3XL. So here I have my personal daily driver Google Pixel 3 and it's running Android 14. You can see it with the Easter egg and the clock on the lock screen. So some prerequisites are that you have an unlocked bootloader and you have some knowledge on how to flash a custom ROM already. Because if you don't, then I'm not really going to help you there. And if you have a Verizon Pixel 3, I also can't help you because you can't unlock the bootloader on those units. Alright, to go over some prerequisites. So first you need the, the ROM. So it's either you download Crosshatch, which is the Google Pixel 3 XL, or you download Blueline, which is the Google Pixel 3. I've already downloaded these files, so I don't need to re-download them. Also, you'll need SDK Platform Tools or ADB and Fastboot. Oops. Uh, just download the OS that you have, Linux, Mac, Windows. So I have Windows, I've already downloaded this. And you'll also need Payload Dumper Go. Uh, just go to releases here and download whatever OS you're running. And you might need the Go programming language, which I already have installed. So I don't need to install them, but you would just choose your OS here and install it. So once you have all that installed, you'll see that uh, you'll have three zip files. You want to extract each and one. I already have platform tools extracted, so I can just delete the zip file. And then you'll extract payload dumper go. And all you'll need is the payload dumper go exe. And this will only work after you have installed the go programming language. And you can see I also have the, the zip file for uh, hentai OS. And you want to also extract that here. Do not delete the zip file. We still need that. So. Once you're here, you can see I have payload.bin and payload number go.exe, and then you want to go cmd, and then you want to do payload dumper go.exe payload.bin. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, I think you have to do a dot slash after the pay, uh, before the payload dumper go, which doesn't work in Windows in my case, so I'll be removing this, and it'll start extracting all the files. Now with all these files, you can individually flash each and one of them in Fastboot D if you do not want to sideload it. Um, that's usually a little bit faster, but it can get a little complicated with some files not flashing and stuff. So I would steer away unless you know what you're doing. I'll cut back to when all these files are finished dumping. Alright, so all the files are done downloading and you want to go you want to go into the extracted folder and then you want to get the boot.image. I will cut it and then go into platform tools and paste it. So I already have a boot.image in here, so I'm gonna replace it. And I'm going to go to CMD. Of course, it's terminal or whatever your console or terminal is on Linux and Mac OS. Just, just figure it out for your OS. I'm on Windows because most people are using Windows. So to boot your phone into the bootloader, you're going to want to power off the phone. And I'm going to unplug it from the PC so it doesn't go to the battery chart screen. And then you want to hold the power and volume down button at the same time. And then you'll be into the bootloader. And I'm going to plug this back in. So once you're in the bootloader on your Google Pixel 3 or 3, so you want to do uh, in a, the terminal window, which is platform tools, you want to do fastboot devices, which will show that it is in fastboot. If nothing is showing up here, you might need to install drivers. And you want to do fastboot flash boot, and then you want to do boot dot image for the hentai OS recovery, and then it will it will flash. So back on the phone, you want to go to uh, recovery mode by using the volume keys to move this to recovery mode, and then you want to reboot. This will take a second. Um, it's usually just how it is. And uh, you'll, you'll sit on a screen with no command. I'll show you how to get past that. So I might be stupid, but this takes usually a couple attempts. So what you want to do is press the volume button, uh, the power button, and then volume button, and then let go of both. And I, I'm not sure why it's not working. Usually this, there you go. So once you get into recovery, you want to do apply update from ADB and make sure again, your phone's still plugged into the computer, cut back to the computer. All right, so back on the computer, you want to make sure you have the, uh, still have the zip file for hentai OS and you want to, on Windows, you want to do shift, right click, and you can do copy as path. I don't know how to copy the path in the uh, on Mac OS or Linux, but I'm assuming you can just drag in to paste the path, which I'm not going to do here because that's going to extract it. But then you want to do uh, ADB devices just to make sure that your phone is in sideload mode, which you can see I have here. And then I can do ADB sideload and then paste the path. Um, the one thing I will say is if this stops at 47%, 
then it will be, it, it's fine um it might show like f x f e r x 1.0 whatever x 2.0 or whatever that's also fine if if on the phone it gets past step two or stage two of verification then then it's flashed successfully so at the bottom here you might see like um finished verification two out of two or whatever i accidentally rebooted but once you're done flashing you want to go to uh wipe data slash factory reset and then you want to do it now in my case i'm already on hentai os and i have everything set up so i'm not going to do this so i'm just going to reboot but once it's done resetting you want to reboot and you should boot into the setup where you can use uh hentai os just fine without any issues um the, the, the ROM comes with kernel su pre-installed in the kernel, so if you're not going to use it, you don't have to install the APK, but if you are, I'm just going to grab my OnePlus 7 Pro here to showcase, you want to go to uh, kernel su uh, APK, you want to search that, and then you want to go to the GitHub link, and then you want to scroll down to releases, and you want to scroll down to um, find the release APK, and you want to download this and install this because this will give you access to kernel suit, which I don't have on this phone. Uh, I'll showcase it here really quickly. Uh, it's being a bit slow. Yep, you can see kernel suit is installed on my Pixel 3. Opening it up, you can see it's working. And play integrity passes just fine, same with safety net. So you can use stuff like Google Pay, which I do have set up on this phone, and banking apps. So you can see my uh, Bank of Montreal, BMO, which is a Canadian bank working just fine on this phone. Uh, the one thing I will say is if you go into the Play Store, I'm just gonna quickly hide my email because if I click on my thing, you'll see my full name and email. Uh, do not update the Pixel camera. The latest version you can install officially is 8.5 as that's the last version that supports uh, Android 12, but don't update Pixel camera or else it won't launch. Um, so what you want to do is disable auto update and if it did update you want to just go to app info and then up here you'll see three dots and uninstall updates and it'll be fine afterwards you can use the camera my camera is a little borked on this phone but you can see it works just fine so that has been how to install hentai os on your google pixel 3 or 3xl thanks for watching if this was helpful do whatever dislike like subscribe i don't really care i just do this for fun so do, do do as you will.